Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Today we're going to have a really quick lesson on how to make a transition corridor to go from a higher elevation to a lower elevation. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to switch over to Cycles Render. We're going to use the GPU to compute and let's get started. So I'm going to press N to bring up my side panel again. We're going to hit Shift A for Add and then we're going to put in a cube. Um, so before, if you remember, for our uh, scale, we did seven, two, and two, uh, which creates a, a decent corridor for our players to move through. But what we're actually going to do this time is we're going to change the Z height to four. And what this will do, this will essentially just create two corridors on top of each other with the goal of going from the top here down to the bottom over here. Uh, so we can transverse different elevations inside of our game. Uh, and you could adjust this larger as needed, uh, but this is just kind of the measurements I will be going with. Okay. Excellent. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is we're going to create our entry and exit points. Uh, a couple different ways we could do this. I'm going to start by hitting tab to go into edit mode and let's deselect. I'm going to face selection mode and I want to split this face into two here. A couple different ways we could do it. We could just grab the face, go subdivide, right over here on the left hand side subdivide. And then you could grab these top panels here and delete that. And then you can go to the other side and you could subdivide that and grab the bottom panels and delete it. And that works pretty well. So now we have an entry point here at the bottom and an exit point over here. Uh, if you don't want to subdivide, however, there's another way we can kind of go about that. Let's go back to our starting point here. We could grab the shape here and we could do a loop cut and slide or control R. And what that does, as you can see, you can say you want to go up on the, the vertical axis there, the horizontal, click once, click again to place. And now we have an upper and a lower section that has automatically been split for us on all sides. So loop cut and slide works quite well also, uh, but you're welcome to try either of the tutorials out. Um, and that's pretty, man, pretty much it. I mean, the last step that you could do uh, is if you wanted to, we could shift A, we could add a plane. Uh, so we have a plane there in the center. And we want to make the scale 7 by 2. And we don't want to change the Z, of course. Uh, and then we could take its rotation. And you could rotate it kind of whatever degree angle you want here. Let's push that down. All right. Let's just lower that a little bit more. All right, and that looks pretty good. You can press Shift F, we can kind of fly through our scene. So the player would start, go through here, and they would go down and transverse to the lower level. Now, of course, I didn't flip my normals here, so you guys are gonna to remember to flip your normals, uh, but that's something we should know how to do by now. And you can kind of imagine how this would look like in the game, All right? So if I create another cube here, and we make this uh, seven by two by two, right? So here's our corridor here. Lower this down, snap into place there, let's go to edit mode, face select, grab that face, delete, grab that face, delete, let's hop out, and let's shift D to duplicate that, raise it up there, and then you can slide it into place over there. All right, so you kind of get the idea, hit shift F. And we can kind of just move through our scenes. You can kind of match your player just going through these corridors here and dropping down to a lower level of your dungeon. Excellent. That works pretty well. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you all later.